Hi, third graders. Today we're going to be learning how to multiply your sixes or groups of six. And it's going to be a lot like our twos and our fours because we're going to use um, some um, information we know to help us figure out information we might not know yet. So you've been working on your threes. We know that when we have, this would be three groups of one, um, three groups of one is three. And when we're trying to multiply three in a group, we can multiply two of that amount and one more of that amount. Remember that strategy we learned? Three times one is really two times one and then one more group of one. When you add them together, you get three. So we wanna make sure we know our threes really, really well um, because we're gonna use that information when we start working with our sixes. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. This is three groups, three groups of one. And obviously I've got three, and these are balloons um, that are at the picnic. You have a teddy bear banquet actually, um, investigation that you're doing, and these are the balloons they have to decorate. Anyway, over here we have six groups of one. So I can think of six groups of one as being three groups of one. And I know that's three and another three groups of one, which would be another three. So six groups of one is going to be three and another three, which is six. And you probably know three times one is three and six times one is six, but you want to be able to use this kind of strategy to break it apart into two easier problems to find out what six groups of one would be. That tells me how many groups I have. This factor tells me how many are in a group. So I have six groups with one in each group and my final answer or product would be six. Let's try another one and then you can fill your journal with the facts up to three times 12 and you can make your own balloons. So this is three groups, tells me there's one group, two groups, three groups, and there's two in each group. So three groups of two, two, four, six, that's gonna equal six. Now over here I have six groups of two, six groups of two. And let's see, I, there's my three groups of two right there. So when I have six groups of two, that's like having three groups of two, which I know is six, plus another three groups of two, which would be another six. Add those together and I have three groups of two, another three groups of two, that's a total of six groups of two, and then I add six plus six, and I find out that the final product is 12. So find your math journal, and go ahead and draw yourself some models for the rest of the sixes, all the way up to six groups of 12. Have fun.